We now go to the Big Island where Flossie is expected to touch down overnight. We've just learned that Hawaii County Mayor Billy Kanoi has decided to shut down the island's bus system tomorrow. The Coast Guard will also close the Kauai High and Hilo Harbors at midnight for safety reasons. KITV 4's Brenton Awa has more. He continues our team coverage from Hilo. Hey guys, no rain yet, but the wind has picked up here on the Big Island, and Hawaii County has made the decision to keep all non essential employees at home tomorrow. Now, earlier today, some residents prepped for the approaching storm, while others just decided to enjoy the sun. I was born and raised here in Hilo, and a lot of people, the storms come by, and everybody's over at Home Depot buying stuff, getting ready for, you know, you know, this big catastrophe. But we're just living by faith and not by sight, and um, we're just going to enjoy our day. That tone resonated with people across Hilo Bay today, with many out on the beach enjoying the weather, but others just want peace of mind. They're um, almost all gone. Blair Ponzi is referring to generators, just one of the items customers at Home Depot were stocking up on. We're looking for tarps, water, batteries, coolers, um, uh, generators are a uh, big ticket item. A lot of people are off grid anyway here. It's always uh, good to be safe and sorry. That's the same reason why summertime campers down the road at Keukaha Beach Park are packing up. Marcelo de Sala says he's been through at least three storms in the last seven years. He's taking no chances. I want to be ahead of the game and that we're actually doing this, coming down and packing up things and just throwing them all in the car and just move out. Yeah. Meanwhile, the civil defense is urging people to be prepared. You just don't know what the impact will be. It has the potential with winds of 65 miles an hour. You know, very uh, heavy downpours or flooding problems. So it's always better to prepare and plan for the worst. And Mayor Billy Kanoi says by tomorrow, residents should stay indoors. Uh, we want people as much as possible to be off of the roads tomorrow morning, anticipating Flossie arriving about 6 a.m. If you have to get any supplies, please get them this afternoon or, or early this evening. The county will open nine evacuation shelters tomorrow starting at 4 a.m. For the complete list, you can log on to our website, KITV.com. And of course, we'll have continuing coverage on this story from the Big Island tomorrow morning. Reporting from Hilo, I'm Brenton Awa for KITV 4 News.